You don't know how many people try to do that. That is never gonna fit in there. So somebody put in one of our uh, comments, uh, you know, was that a llama with a mouth that opens? So these were in a, um, we bought a storage unit out that was a costume shop. And so these two, uh, the llama and the, I don't know, the donkey, they, uh, they were in there. Everybody tries to buy them from us, but we try not to sell them. Whenever we get something cool and fun and interesting, we try not to sell it at the store. I mean, just, just because we want to make the store more exciting for the customers. You can see up here, you know, we have all this, the snowman head, the, you know, the, di who's the purple dinosaur? What's Barney. Barney, that's right, Barney. Space stuff, old radios. You know, we try to save all that stuff. I, I don't sell it, but then if somebody makes me a ridiculous offer, then I have no choice. Um, my whole goal always has been to make Resale America more like a museum. So no matter where you go, no matter where you look, all you see is like cool stuff on the walls and vintage stuff and toys from your youth. I mean, I went to the uh, National Toy Museum. I think it's in Rochester, New York. I went there one time and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just going back through the generations, looking at all the different toys. And I hope to, to bring that to Resale America. So there's a guy named Doug that on one of the other liquidation sites, he was saying that his bin store is doing $220,000 a month consistently for over a year in sales. And he wanted to know what his business is worth. And so I just want to do a real quick snippet about how you evaluate a business. Um, first of all, Doug, that's freaking incredible to do that much sales. That's, that, that's $55,000 a week. My bin stores don't do anywhere near that. I'd love to know how big it is. I'd love to come visit it to see what your strategy is because that is incredible, man. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so super proud of you. But to determine, Doug, how you value a business is right here. This is how it works. You take three times your profit, your annual profit, times your risk, plus the assets of the business. All right, so this isn't a normal, so what does this mean here? So let's say that he profits, man, if he's doing 220 a week, let's say he profits 10%, that's, uh, that's uh, two point, he profits, let's say he profits $250,000 a year in that store, right? So three times profit, so that'd be $750,000 times risk. So what is risk? How big a risk is your business? Because a business that has high risk, like a bar and a restaurant, stuff like that, might only get two times profit. But businesses that have low risk might be, you know, let's say a dry cleaners, right? No other dry cleaner is gonna open up next to you. So that might get four times profit. So you always gotta factor in the risk. So typically businesses go for two to five times your profit. This profit, so the bin store business, um, you know, what would be the risks? Uh, another bin store opening up in your town and splitting your profits in half. Maybe, um, maybe the, the inventory drying up, although he seems like he's pretty, uh, pretty far ahead of the inventory, which is great. Um, you know, maybe fire, you know, all these kind of risks have got to play into it. But my prediction would be that, uh, that he could probably stick to the three times aspect of it. So if he's making 250 a year, three times profit is $750,000, and then it's plus assets. So whatever assets your company has, let's say there's fixtures, your point of sale system, your registers, what's the depreciated value of those assets that you can add on top of that? So probably in a bin store, there's not a lot of, well, maybe with the price of wood nowadays, your bins might be worth a lot, but probably not a lot of resale value and everything you have in your store. Let's say that is, uh, let's say it's $20,000, okay? So it would add up to $750,000 plus 20. So you'd be at $770,000, I believe, Doug, that your bin store is worth if my profit number is right for you. Oh, I find this after he quit yesterday. Ooh, there, who quit? Well, nobody wanted it, but Thomas quit and then I found it. It's a treasure. Treasure? Anything crazy with those? No, I 
I got a, bag? I got a buyer for the for eight hundred dollars a pallet. Those Amazon books. Oh wow! And he'll buy as many as we get. It's so, incredible. Who did that? Barbara, do you keep doing this? What? Cutting these pallets? No, did you cut the pallets? Yeah. Are you taking stuff out of the pallets and processing them? Yeah. She was pricing some stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to save all these pallets. That's why they were all nice and neatly cut this tall. Please don't cut any more pallets, Barb. You know I love you. Jerry said he's got the lights off. Let's see uh, what's going on with Jerry back here. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Mercedes coming to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty neat, man. <laughs> How you doing? Thanks, Ace. Boom. You have shirt. Hey man, how come you get this? How come I don't get this, man? That's what I need to Don't hit any customers. I finally found a Smalls program in Florida uh, being sold by Excess Limited. And um, I decided to buy one of the truckloads to try to figure it out figure out um, you know if I can get the value if I can build a business around here you know there, there there's loads everywhere right now if you haven't noticed as a as a bin store operator as a truckload liquidator as a reseller there's merchandise like everywhere around around so I brought one of these in so they sell it at nine percent of retail and they estimate it between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars of the merchandise um, when I got it here, I mean, it looked pretty much exactly like the smalls I'm already getting for my liquidator, my locally smalls. Uh, the, the big problem was is there's a ton, a ton of food in there, a ton of food. And I'm not real good with food. I mean, I do sell some food in my big store. I really don't put it in the, my bin stores. I don't know, if any, does anybody else uh, sell food in their bin stores? Uh, also, uh, I palletized it up. How much do you think we can get for a pallet of food like this? I mean, it's all all good stuff. There's 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 pet food, cereal. You know, there's there's sausages, creamer. There's just there's chips. There's everything in these pallets. Drinks. My thought is to sell it for four hundred dollars. Uh, this is how the pallets are coming in right here. Um, what's weird about the pallets is that I'm finding like one really expensive item in you know, every other pallet. So, for example, I'm getting a ton of just mediums. Come over here, I'm gonna show you these mediums pallets. So what I did is I separated all the items that I got out of a pallet that were under $20. Under $20, and I filled it up here. So I ended up putting 900 items in here, but it's all the miscellaneous stuff, all just low value stuff that's that you know a lot of people use for their bin stores, um, and, in, and in one pallet I, I got uh, there was 900 items, 900 low value items in a pallet. So you know so you I got about 130 pieces of food, 900 low value items, and then we have some premium items. <laughs> So then I separated premium items. Um, so when I say low value, everything's under $20. Premium items, what I think is between $20 and $100, right? And so I wanted to create a premium pallet. Now keep in mind that this pallet's not even full and um, this is five talls worth of premium items. So I'm really only getting about 10 to 20 premium items per pallet. I am getting, uh, you know, so what, what I, when I say that I'm getting some expensive stuff, you know, I think we've pulled out um, seven, 
a total of about seven of the Galaxy S21 Ultra's phones. But, it, but it's just strange. The palettes just don't make any sense to me because it's, it's a palette full of food, smalls, and a few big items. And then there's a thousand dollar phone in it. You know, it just, I mean, I'm glad there's a thousand dollar phone in it, but, but there's only one phone for every three or four palettes. You know, there's no hundred dollar item, two hundred dollar item, there's no five hundred dollar items. It's all just the cheap stuff and then the expensive phone. So it's, it's really intriguing to me. Now, I don't fully know yet how much I paid for this truckload because I haven't got the manifest yet. Um, it's just, it's just a strange load and I don't know if I can build my business off this. I guess if you sold food or a general merchandise store, they would, they would work for you. But, um, you know, I'll let you, I'll let you know as soon as I get the manifest, you know, how much I paid for this, how much I paid per pallet. I have already sold pallets. One person found two of these phones in their pallet. So I sold the pallet for $1,200, not knowing what I paid for it yet. And they found 2000, you know, just two pieces worth thousand dollar phones. So that was a good score for them. I don't know if I recommend these pallets yet. I don't think they're great. I don't think I can build a business around them, but I had to give them a shot. I had to spend $20,000 and give them a shot uh, to see if, to see if it'll work.